Hello everyone, how you doing? My name is Kasim. Welcome to this week's Dividend and Growth Investing Portfolio Update. So in this week's portfolio update, I'm going to primarily focus on explaining what dividend ETFs are. I'm going to explain them and I'm going to show you guys uh, the one that I recently started, which is the monthly monthly dividend um, ETF, which is right in, in, in the passive income section. I'm going to sh- I'm going to be sharing that with you today. Um, I'm also going to be looking at um, I'm going to show you how, um, you know, if, if you have a dividend portfolio and you have a lot of companies in there, um, Seeking Alpha is a really, really good tool to use in terms of using them to just monitor what's going on in your account, um, using it to to track your dividend. Um, you know, it, they are a good free tool. So we're going to talk about that and, uh, we're just going to just go over the portfolio, look at the transactions and look at all the dividends that have been coming in and, you know, just go over everything with you today. So the first thing that, the first thing that I want to touch on is I always like to touch on this section here. You know, the point of this portfolio is to be able to invest in companies that pays dividends. Companies are gonna pay me a cut of their of their profit every three months, every six months, or every year. You know that's the main focus. And you know a, a decent amount at this point is like ninety ninety nineteen thousand dollars, excluding excluding um, maybe only tes- Tesla, but roughly close to twenty thousand dollars that I have in in passive in in the passive income section here which is primarily get towards companies like 90 percent of it is companies that pays dividend and even at uh even with this etfs right here most of them pays dividend arc pays once a year um, you know most of the company in this one buffet pie also pays dividend so this portfolio like a good chunk of it is geared towards dividend paying companies so with that being said, let's just take a look. I, I usually, anytime I do these videos, I always like to just go through uh, this section here and just show you guys what has been happening in terms of dividend coming in for the past um, three months, okay? So, uh, cause it's always a rolling three months. So um, th- that is that. We have here on, today that I'm recording this video, April 6th, we, uh, we got paid seven cents you know not much but seven cents so in the past in the past five uh business days from march march 31st we've gotten paid seven dollars you know seven dollars at this point every seven days is it's it's nice you know this is the kind of thing that i've been pretty much aiming for and i've been trying to make um for the past year so i'm i'm so happy and glad that this is happening you know, sooner, sooner than, than, than later. Okay. So, uh, for the past month, so for the past, you know, rolling 30 days, from March 8th. So from March 8th, all the way to April 7th here, the portfolio has generated $60, $60. I have to clap. I have to. So in the past, in the past, in the past 30 days from March 8th, all the way to all the way to April 7, the portfolio has generated $60, guys. $60. I mean, this is crazy. This is like really, really nuts. You know, like this portfolio is doing exactly what I needed to do. You know, like I never could imagine two years ago that I would get to a point where I'm earning almost a hundred bucks, probably soon to be a hundred bucks, maybe this time next year, you know almost a hundred bucks on a monthly basis. And I do not have to do anything for this money. All I have to do is buy companies and hold on to them, you know, buy companies that I use their product. If we look here, we we'll look at some, um, we we'll look at the Warren Buffett pie here. This, this is the, this is the Warren Buffett pie in the past. Um, in the past month, I've earned, earned $5 from month from this pie. But look at this, look at all the companies that, that are in here, you know, a lot of people have credit cards from bank um, American Express that they're paying interest on. You know, we buy Coke, Coke stuff all the time. 
you know, a lot of people have their money with this bank. They make money, you know. You buy ketchup from Hanks, you know, like all these companies, we pretty much buy and use this stuff all the time. So it's, I decide to invest in them because, you know, they make a ton of money from everybody. And out of that money, out of the interest that you're probably paying to, you know, American Express or Wells Fargo or Visa, this is, I'm getting a piece of that money. And that's what adds up to $60 here. So clap for the portfolio one more time, everybody. Let's go. Yep. So let's keep it moving here. Okay. So if you look at three months here, for the past three months, the portfolio has also generated $131. Oh my God. This is absolutely crazy. I'm so happy that. The portfolio is getting to a point right now that we are earning this amount of money and you know we're still growing this thing this thing is going to be one million dollars at some point you know we're still growing it this is the million dollar challenge so everybody if you're watching this links will be in the description you know i have links to the portfolio if you want to check it out i have links to the pies all the pies that i have here if you want to go and check them out in details i have links to them um, I have a bunch of information there. So, you know, you guys go check it out. And I urge everybody, obviously, the, all the stuff that I do on my channel is not financial advice. But I urge everybody to look into starting a portfolio from them for themselves. You know, um, $50 invested every week throughout, you know, a, a 5, 10, 15 year period. You can go far, you know, you can go far. To the point where you can start earning dividend for yourself as well and if you look at the over um overall time here that i've that i've that we've been collecting data on this portfolio we have generated five hundred dollars you know five hundred dollars this is serious money that gets deposited right in the cash balance right here and then i turn around and invest that money back into all the companies that i want to have in here so this this dividend that comes in is like the income comes in i add a little bit more money to it and then i, I put it back in and buy more of those companies you know and by doing that i would get paid more the next time so it compounds this is how you basically put compounding compounding to work in real life so if i pop right in here i look at the transaction section here and we switch to dividend we filter by dividend here you guys can see this is how the money comes in. They all come in little by little, you know, like like a lot of these companies, I don't actually own a ton of money in them. Some of them might own maybe $200 worth of their shares, maybe $300 worth of their shares. And, you know, it just basically comes in on a regular basis. And, you know, I don't have to even do anything. Look at this. Uh, April 5th, I got paid from three companies. The next day, I got paid by another two companies. Uh, look at it prefers three companies on March. Look at that March, March 31st. I got paid from all those companies. So all I just have to do is increase the, my ownership of this, of this companies, increase my ownership in them over time. And I'm pretty much guaranteed to be earning, earning very, very nice amount of money, you know, over time from all this company. So, this is how I do it, you know. I I do have a playlist. I do have a playlist on the channel where I sh where I show you guys um, how the portfolio has been doing all the way from when the portfolio was just a thousand dollars and up to this point. I'm gonna keep on doing this and be sharing this portfolio with you guys on a weekly basis or on a week and a half basis. Um, so subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along with the process and um, if you want to follow along um, in the journey and just watch and hopefully get inspired to be able to create your own portfolio. And if you need all the inf uh, links, they are in the description. If you have any question, leave them in the comments below because I do answer my um, my comments. I love interacting with you guys. So if you have any information, uh, any uh, questions about the portfolio and you you're interested in knowing more about the portfolio they will be in the description below 
So hopping right into the passive income section here, I want to focus on um, di uh, dividend. Ex I want to explain um, ETF, dividend ETFs. Okay, I want to explain that to you guys today. So um, this is the, my passive income section. Basically, this section here is pretty much only focused on companies that pays dividend, except from this section right here. Uh, pretty much only focus on companies that pays dividend on a regular basis. All right. So I have this section here where it's called where it's called monthly income. Okay. I, I briefly touched on this earlier on and earlier on a couple of videos be, uh, before this one. I'll I'll leave it for you. To, I'll leave it in the cards for you to check out if you're interested in checking them out. So in here I have SPHD PEY. DGRW, I've done videos about this, um, those companies before. I, I will leave it in the links, um, in the cards for you to check out. They're going to pop up and you can go check those out. So basically each of these companies, they are, comp they, they are, so let's, let's take a look at Jeppy here, right? Let's look at this. Let me use this to explain how this, how this works. So this company, JP Morgan, this is basically Chase Bank, okay? They, JP Morgan, they create this ETF. So this ETF, this ETF is basically on the JP Morgan. And what they do is they, they basically um, do covered call. They basically do the wheel strategy, okay? And I, I, I also do the wheel strategy on this channel and I post video on it. You, can, you guys can check it out. They basically do the wheel strategy and they collect premium, okay? So when they do the wheel strategy and they make money on it, they basically pay um, the investors like me that I own almost 60 bucks worth of this, this stock. They pay me a piece of that profit, okay? That is basically what they do. So here's the, here's the fund here. I'm, I'm here on the, on the website. This is JP Morgan's website for this fund. And basically, if we click here and look at the top 10 holdings, so we can see this, this one's here. I don't know exactly what those securities are. I'm going to look into them in more details in a bit. Well, they have all these, all these different companies. You have Target, Amazon, Google, you know, like they have all these companies here that they basically buy the stock. So you have um, one company, JP Morgan, they go out, they create a company, right? And this is the name of the company, J, uh, JP Morgan um, Equity Premium Income ECF. So this becomes a standalone company, basically. And basically, it's it's, it's, own, it's its own company that's owned by JP Morgan. So this company now go out and buy all this other company under itself. So it buys, you know, Google, it buys Microsoft, it buys Target. Matter of fact, I, I downloaded, I downloaded all this, all their, all their inf information here. Let me pull it up for you. So there is the, here's all their information here. Um, you can, I'll leave the website below so you can go and, um, and download them and look, and look into it and look at each of the companies that they have um, a lot more. Well, you know, we can see here equity link notes. I don't really know much about them. I'm going to research them and maybe do a video on it for you guys as well. Just updating you guys on what those are. So this in, this company, um, JP Morgan Premium uh, Income e ETF, they basically go out and do covered calls, okay? And do covered calls on all these companies, so you can imagine how much money they are making on every um, on this company is doing covered calls, you know, and they turn around and take a piece of the profit that they make. They turn around and give it to the investors. You can see here this is the amount of shares that they own. I think this, that's the cash value. Okay, market value of the shares that they that they own. So they have most some in in most of them are in the U.S. They have a few companies that are based out of, out of Ireland, but they, they have the stock exchange in the U.S., Switzerland, Ireland, U.S. So these are all the companies here. They have T-Mobile that they do cover call on. 
uh, United Postal Service, UPS. They are uh, um, AutoZone here. They have Apple, Facebook, you know, all the usual companies. So they they basically do covered call on the, on the on the company, and then they u- they use it to make money. And then based off of that, they pay the in- investors a little bit of that money. So that is what this particular company does. Um, you know, um, it's an ETF. So whenever you see an ETF, what it basically means is one company goes out and buy a whole bunch of companies and it's, and it's combined into one. You know, they all have different themes. So one can only be focused on, I only want to invest in companies that pays dividend on the in this stock market so like this one sphd is focused on uh, companies within the s p 500 that pays a high dividend you know so they all have different themes different things that they focus on and they basically um create one company so one company creates another company and that company goes out and buy a bunch of companies on the stock market and they package them and make them into one company so that is basically what um, an ETF is. And especially what I'm doing here, uh, dividend ETF explained. That is to today's topic. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And the reason why I like um, dividend ETF is just because they give you a form of diversification. Like if I was to start my investing all over again, and I, I absolutely have no clue about investing or whatever, I would probably pick something like this. I would pick something like this because this pays me every month. The, the reason why something like this is good good is you, you basically constantly see this. You basically constantly see something like this, right? And when you are a new investor and you, you see all these companies constantly paying you every month, you know, like look at SPHD here. They paid me uh, 30, 38 cents. I've, um, I've, I've did a video in the past where I showed you guys what SPHD, let me see. Let me pull them up, SPHD. Let me just only put, pull their dividend up that I've been going paid, that they've paid me in the past. So you see, we've gotten paid $12, $13, um, you know, I've gotten paid constantly every month with SPHD since June of last year. And I'm looking to bump bump them back up to where they used to be. I made a mistake transferring them and I sold out of it. But, you know, the, in, the, the income just comes in. And then when it comes in, I turn around and put it in, back into it. And next time I get paid, I get paid a little bit more. I put it back into it. Then I put it back into it. Then I put it back into it. So by the time you know it, your money just compounds, you know, compounds very seriously over time, you know. So this is what, this is the kind of thing that you can expect from dividend companies. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say there. Um, you know, I have links to all the stuff in the description. You can go check it out. Like companies, uh, companies that goes out and buy a bunch of companies and combine them into one, they make investing easier for in newer investors like you and i that we instead of going out and doing research and picking a bunch of different companies you can just go out and buy one company and put your money in and as you put your money in the mo- your money gets spread around across the amount of companies they have in the etf so like this one when you put your money in your money gets spread across 50 i mean 500 different stocks you know same with this, same with this, same with this, same with this. So it gives you a level of diversification. Um, it's just easier to get into investing with um, with something like this. Links, of course, will be in the, in the description for this. And if you have any question, you can always put it down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So last but not least, I would like to, uh, you know, let you guys know that Seeking offer here, seeking offer here, it's a pretty good service, you know, like it's a pretty good service. And if you are interested, you should definitely go check them out. They they don't charge any money, but they have a v- pretty good service 
uh, in terms of those that are int- that wants to track their their portfolio and all those things, like if you if you if you look, you can see all the companies that I have in my portfolio. You get to see you get to see all their all their information, the times that the, the times that they pay. They even send you emails every morning highlighting highlighting you know the what's going on with your portfolio. So here's an example of the kind of information that they send to you. They basically they, they basically give you a, a, a snapshot of what's like a mini heat map of what's going on with your portfolio. They give you a nice little summary, and then they basically give you breaking news. Um, you know, based on the companies that you have in your portfolio, uh, what analysts, other prof- what professionals are saying about your portfolio. Um, you know. Yeah, what analysts are saying about all the companies that you have in your portfolio, press releases from the company, so what the company is saying themselves. Uh, look at this one, Beyond Meat, they open, they, they, they're opening their facility in China, so that would be good for them. You know, um, Dominion Energy, they, have, they basically have information um, directly from the companies that you're invested in. And they just kind of package it into this brilliant little email that is sent to you, that is sent to you, sent to you every Monday, so you can do an a- analysis on your portfolio and see what other professionals are saying about your portfolio as well. So that is pretty much it for this week, guys. That is pretty much it. I hope um, by you watching this video, you've learned a little some uh, you've learned something from this video. And, and um, you know, it, I hope it motivate you to go ahead and start your own dividend portfolio. All the links that you will be in, will be, all the links that you will need will be in the description below. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate you for watching like always. Subscribe to the channel if you like what I do here. If you want to follow the journey, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like because it helps me, my channel as well. So support me appreciate you as well thank you very much and have a good day bye